Hi guys, I was working on a project today using Arduino. I've not used Arduino for a while and I came across a problem because my computer could not load or find the drivers for the Arduino that I was using. I did a bit of googling and apparently from what I can find out the problem is because I bought a very cheap one from AliExpress and it doesn't use the drivers that the official one uses. Although this is an open source project so how there's any difference between official and copy is a bit hard to say. Anyway I did solve the problem I couldn't find the answer online I worked something out myself so I just want to show you guys if you're having the same problem and I guess if you're watching this video you probably are. Okay here's how to fix it. I've had a look at this uh, problem so basically the PC will not see this Arduino it's saying effectively that the serial device isn't or rather USB device driver isn't loaded it doesn't recognize it this might be something to do with my machine having Windows 7 or it might be something to do with this being a kind of like a, a copy of the Arduino although it is open source and I did a bit of reading and apparently this USB to serial chip may not be recognized so the thing is I effectively need to find a driver for this now I had a look on the internet and there seems to be a couple of videos about it but neither of them helped me so I've kind of come up with hopefully my way of doing it which I'm going to show you now so we'll go over to the desktop and this you can see is the device manager so if I connect this little Arduino which I'm going to do now you'll see that the computer is installed in the device drive and it's saying it was not successfully installed and it finds effectively an unknown device there so to get around it how I decided to do it was this I've disconnected it again this is some software called SDI or snappy driver installer now I use this basically to install drivers on laptops and especially retro motherboards where I don't effectively have the correct drivers to hand so this has a 64-bit and a 32-bit version this PC is actually a 32-bit Windows 7 so if we run snappy driver installer and you, this is a free download you can download this it's big but it is free And it's showing you here all the various drivers installed on my computer and it's saying that in some cases there are updated drivers available yeah but there's no drivers missing now with snappy driver installer running i'm going to attach the little arduino board and let's see what it does so i've plugged the board in great news yeah just what you wanted it's saying that the driver is available but it's not installed yet so this has found the driver for the serial chip yeah which says it's a CH340 okay so let's try installing the driver from here and then let's see if Windows recognizes our um, hooky street um, Arduino yeah so it's now installed the driver for that okay so we can close that now let's have a look what we have in the device manager so we should now have ports yeah and there is a serial port so it's seeing it now so I should be able to find this now in the Arduino IDE so if anybody has that problem then hopefully this will solve it for you for some strange reason I was recording that and the OBS screen capture sees everything on the screen but doesn't see SDI and now I've installed it I can't recreate the problem every time I attach the device now even if I remove it in the device manager it finds the drivers so what I can show you is this actually is SDI so this is a free download we can have a look at that in a moment but basically it shows all the drivers that are installed on this machine and it tells us whether they are up to date whether there is an updated version available and so on so what happened previously but won't happen now because I can't undo it it would seem or not easily that I know how to is that 
when I connected the Arduino Nano, it popped up here to say that the device driver wasn't installed, but it recognised what it was, CH340. So I just selected it, like so, and just told it to install. Okay, install, and it installed the driver, and then it appeared in the device manager, and after that, it actually worked. So that's a very useful uh, way to solve the problem. SGI is a excellent bit of software and it is free so there you go guys that's how you solve the problem if your hooky arduino is not recognized by your pc if you're looking to download snappy driver you can find it here there's a few installers around i probably use this one since it is actually kind of like purple which means i've clicked on it before so I went to uh, the driver and just effectively downloaded the full version, yeah? And that's how I got it. Now, it, basically, this will give you a little torrent-type file. And from there on, you just load that into a torrent client. It's explained to you here. So you need to use a torrent client and you can download the whole package for offline use. If you want to use this when your computer is online, so you have internet access, then you don't need to do it. You can just run it. The reason it uses a torrent to download is nothing to say there's anything dodgy about this software. It's a very official software. It's an open source project, basically. But the file with all the drivers is about 26 gigabytes so this is what uses torrents and depending on the speed of your internet will depend on how long it takes on my internet it's very fast i think it took a couple of hours something like that anyway i can well recommend you to use this software and this is where you get it so there you go guys that has to be the shortest video i've ever made but I was having problems finding an answer to this problem. And I'm guessing I was not the only one. Some of the videos I was looking at on YouTube had many thousands of views, but they just didn't give me the answer at least. So I hope you enjoyed it anyway. If it's the first time you've seen the channel, I hope maybe you like it. And I'll see you all soon on another Learning Electronics Repair video. Ciao for now, guys.